Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I recently got a, uh, a MacBook Air from one of my friends. Uh, they said it didn't work and the, the fan spin as you can hear is stupid loud. Um, and they got a new MacBook Air, or actually I think they got a MacBook Pro. Um, even though I wouldn't recommend getting any of these systems uh, and they said that I could have this one. Um, so I was like, hell yeah, um, I'll take it. Uh, I, I can see if I can try to fix it up. Uh, so that's what this video is going to be today. Uh, it's me, me fixing it, trying to get this fan to to die down a little bit, because uh, right now it is it is crazy loud, and um, I wouldn't be seen in public carrying this thing around um, without having this fan spin a little bit quieter than what it is right now, because I think it's running out 100% right now. All right, so the first thing we're going to do today um, is going to put in a CPU monitoring software. Uh, on this machine because we have no idea what the CPU temps are and just to check and see if uh, our CPU is actually getting really hot and if it is that means we probably just have to clean the thing out um, but if it isn't then it might be some sort of a software or damaged hardware issue. Um, I could see it being damaged hardware because uh, in this back corner right here we've got a pretty big dent on the bottom. Uh, I'm assuming she dropped it at some point um, so again, we're just going to be throwing this in, I've got a zip file on this USB drive, we're going to plug it in, install it, and see if we can check CPU temps. Alright, so we just installed Fanny, and it's kind of what I expected it to be. Um, the CPU is not getting very hot, it's only at 35 degrees C, and the CPU, is, or I mean the GPU is actually the same, uh, it's on the, the same thing. Um, and the fans are spinning at the maximum speed that they are, so it's not the CPU. Uh, that is getting you know extremely hot and making it kick on uh, and that kind of sucks because um, I was expecting it for it to be something else uh, or this I mean it'd be a pretty simple fix for me to do um, but we are still gonna take off the bottom we're gonna see if we can uh, get some sort of um, you know cleaning done because uh, I have opened on this thing before and uh, it, it's pretty it's pretty nasty in there all right so from already flipping this thing over we've got a couple of problems um, so I've already taken a look at this thing. I've actually taken off the back and everything like that um, Before I did this video and uh, I was checking out this screw. This does not have a screw in it It's it's literally just a it's just an empty uh, uh, screw hole and I try to take one of the, one of these screws that are compatible um, And for some reason the threading is just completely ripped off um, I have no idea why it would be ripped off like this this side of the the Mac doesn't have too much damage on it uh, in general, um, so I, I don't really have any idea why there would be that much uh, of uh, you know a damage to this piece. Um, maybe someone over tightened it and stripped the entire inside of it, um, but I have no idea. So we just don't have a screw there. Um, I mean, I don't know if this particular Mac needs all the screws to make sure the fan speeds, uh, you know, working fine. But uh, I, I hope that you know Apple wouldn't implement something like that. As well, in the other corner, this is where we have most of our damage. Uh, it's pretty dead and end. Let's see if I can zoom in real quick. Yeah, so this whole entire piece uh, looks like a hit right here. Um, then this entire piece right here is completely raised as well as along this little side. So, yeah. All right, so we're just going to start with uh, unscrewing all these little pieces. Uh, you know, I've got my little little parts tray over here. Uh, so we'll, we'll be making sure that uh, we don't mix up any of the screws that should be going in different holes. Uh, for all I know is that these two screws are the only ones that are different from the rest of the screws. These ones have to go through uh, the little vent that is on the back through here. So they're, they're uh, a bit longer. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to speed this up, let a little bitty roll and uh, music play out. So now the screws are out, it should be able to just pop this baby off. All right, and yep, there's a lot of dust under there. Ooh, baby. You guys, just want to take for reference, look at it. Oh, that's not very good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's gross. This is where, this is where we see most of our damage. It's here. Right here, it's pretty dead in. Um, so with this whole back piece, we're going to be trying to bend this. Uh, to where it should be shaped how it would be in the factory. Um, I think this might be causing a little bit of our problems. So we're going to see what's going to be going on with that. Uh, as of now, 
this is what we're gonna be working with. And I wanna say something real quick about working on Max. Um, if you're using anything other than iFixit, I have no idea what you're doing because um, I'm pretty sure there's more torques in here that I'm probably gonna have to use, um, especially on this CPU cooler. I have no idea uh, what kind of torque screws these are in there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Uh, yeah, so these little these little torques right there, I don't know if I have those, but uh, I had to do a lot of trial and error with these. Uh, right now I'm up to two torques, and on most computers you only use a Phillips, so uh, you know that's that's great. Uh, I can see why people hate working on that. So we're gonna be uh, like really extra safe with this one. Um, I'm gonna be basically taking off all the connectors that um, I, I know. I don't know this particular laptop too much, so I'm just gonna start disconnecting stuff. Uh, I do think that this is the battery um, piece over here. Let's get a better angle. Let's see, tab you pull out. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go get some latex gloves because I do not want to mess with with this, and my hands are kind of sweaty right now because uh, I'm messing with completely new hardware. All right, so I did get this thing out, that's the battery connector. I couldn't find any latex gloves, so you know, uh, I'm just gonna be playing a little risky. I mean, I can't be losing any money on this because I got it for free, so, <laughs> uh, you know, if something does go wrong, something breaks, I'm not gonna be too upset about it. All right, so we're gonna move over here to the, uh, the CPU and the fan. Um, now, I don't think that this is gonna be the real problem. Uh, I don't because it isn't reporting in the manager, uh, but I'm definitely going to be looking at this board and seeing if there are any um, any sort of um, things I should be worried about. Um, I'm not 100% sure what all these connectors do. I should be probably be, uh, be looking up Lewis Rossman right now, uh, but I was going to repaste this thing anyway, so might as well take this thing off. Oh, wrong torque. Wrong torque. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure this isn't just going to come off when I unscrew these. So I'm going to put these babies in a separate compartment in the sorting scheme. Sorry, I was looking at it. Different one, making sure. This is the first time I've ever worked on a Mac before, so this is uh, a bit of a new experience. I mean, every computer has basically been the same. And this this model, I think this is a 2013 model. Yeah, so this is kind of like the last time that uh, Macs really uh, were like regular computers. Um, sorry for the stepping around my house. People are kind of moving around. Um, so we've got a you know, just a regular SSD that can be slotted in. Now, now they solder all this stuff on. Uh, they did solder on the RAM for this one, so you can't upgrade that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, most of this stuff is basically made what a normal PC would look like. Um, and the weird thing, I was kind of messing with this. You, in order to get this piece off, you have to like almost take off this, uh, it's like an adhesive right here. Yeah. This thing's like glued on, or it was glued on, no it's not. I've already to see, uh, started to see why people hate Apple. It, it took me like a solid five minutes to figure out what the hell was even going on with this thing. But there is the tiniest little screw hidden underneath this wire that holds on this heat sink. And I'm gonna need to unscrew a little bit more. Took me like a while to figure this out. I think I'm gonna be hitting the thread. Here, I'll, I'm gonna cut to where I get it out. So I finally have out the heat sink. Man, that, that screw sucked. Um, and there's like these little rubber guards on here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why it out. You can tell this thing is, ugh. It is so gross. So uh, we're gonna clean this thing up. Uh, we're also gonna be taking off this uh, particular uh, CPU fan. Um, I feel like I'm kind of doing all this for nothing, uh, but hopefully I'm, I'm gonna end up spraying down this whole entire PCB. Uh, that'll be in the next clip. So yeah, I'm gonna get this fan off and uh, we'll spray it down, clean off all this old thermal paste, and hopefully we'll be able to, uh, you know, let this thing run a little bit better. 
Uh, and if not, it's not a... If, if nothing happens and the fan still runs really loud, we'll know that it's some sort of a hardware issue where either one of the connectors got hit, one of the thermal sensors got hit, um, but that wouldn't really make any sense since it's still reading it at 36 degrees. Um, it might be some of the MOSFETs, some of these things I have a lot of dust around them, so you know we'll just we'll just see what's going on. All right, so we got all of our components out here, and I've got my trusty little air compressor. Um, we are going to be blowing off all the dust on this entire board, and uh, you know we'll, we'll get it all clean. Uh, I know you guys probably don't want to hear the sound of an air compressor going on, so just going to be uh, B-roll sped up with some music. All right, so we clean everything off. Um, I actually took this back plate and uh, kind of worked on these this edge right here. This is one that was dented in. Uh, it fits a lot more flush now. Now it's not completely fr flush, but um, yeah, it, it should fit a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure how much of a problem that was uh, in the first place, but we're gonna be wiping off uh, the CPU really quick. All right, so we're back after a little bit more of cleanup. Uh, I was cleaning out the batteries um, and some are hard to reach places that had a little bit more um, like hair and dust all over the uh, uh, over like the little circuits and MOSFETs and stuff like that. So uh, I wanna make sure that none of those hairs were inhibiting anything. Um, not like they would. Uh, I mean, most of these things are built so that um, hair won't, isn't really gonna mess uh, too many things up. So we're just going to be wiping off the CPU die. Uh, so now this is actually kind of weird. Um, I have no idea how it worked, what I did to it. Um, basically, all I did after that cut was try to reseat the um, the heatsink with the CPU, but that was just a pain in the neck, and it took me like 30 minutes to try to get the thing reseated. Uh, and that and that little uh, little rubber thing took me ages to get to work. Um, so we actually have everything together now, um, and it's running now. It's running a little bit hot because it's you know doing Cinebench right now, and MacBooks tend to run uh, a little bit hot. But the CPU here is running at a crisp 90 degrees C, uh, as well as the GPU is running 85 degrees. Uh, but we're only getting up to 5,000 RPM, which we were actually getting up to the max, which is 6,500 RPM uh, when we were just sitting idle and I was sitting at 30 degrees. So it's behaving much better uh, than it normally did. Uh, and I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Um, I guess it just needed a cleaning. There's probably some stuff or gunk all over the components that was inhibiting some sort of, um, you know, reaction or was just making something uh, a lot hotter than it should have been. So that's what we did. We cleaned the whole entire thing up and it seems to be working great now. Um, I'm really excited to get this together. I'm putting this together for my sister. Um, and, you know, we're running through all the benchmarks, make sure that it works just fine. It's just getting up to the uh, high temps right now. Um, but I'll get back to you guys and see if this doesn't work. Uh, hopefully it does. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.